A new bipartisan report from the Senate out today, which identifies security and intelligence failures surrounding the January 6th assault on the U.S. Capitol. Natalie Brand has the story from Washington. A new Senate report says Capitol Intelligence saw social media posts as far back as December about a plot to breach the Capitol, including maps of the buildings and tunnels and threats of violence against members of Congress. But it adds that the Capitol Police Force's Intelligence Division did not convey the full scope of known information to USCP leadership, rank and file officers, or law enforcement partners. Part of the reason it was overlooked is people were saying, well, this just can't happen. And, it, and mm -hmm. these groups of folks, they, they can't do that. Well, now we know they can. The more than 100 page document was the result of a joint investigation by the Senate Homeland Security and Rules Committees. The Democratic and Republican leaders sat down with CBS News. What was the most surprising breakdown or failure that you learned about through this investigation? The intelligence failure. How long it took the Defense Department to respond. There just wasn't a plan ahead of time. The report mentions former President Trump's speech to his supporters the morning of January 6th, but it does not dig into specific root causes of the attack. Our job was not to go back and talk about what happened in terms of the motivation. It was about, okay, once it happened, you know, what did we do here in the Capitol and how could this have happened? In a response, U.S. Capitol Police said in part, it welcomes the analysis and agrees improvements are needed specific to intelligence analysis and dissemination. However, it insisted that at no point prior to the 6th did it receive actionable intelligence about a large-scale attack. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington.